my name's Kevin. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to clean an X cow. Cleaning the X cows are relatively pretty easy. Uh, you don't have to take the barrel out to clean your X cow. Uh, what you would have to do is just open up the back, take a cleaning rod, uh, and use a swab of any kind. Um, you can run it down from the rear and just push it all the way through until you come to the end. Um, if it looks like there's more debris on there, you can, you can pull it back through and that will usually clean most of the debris out of an Excal barrel. Uh, if you get a, a, some that are really corroded, uh, you can use uh, a brass brush. Um, the barrels are stainless, so you don't want to use a steel brush. Uh, they, will, they can scratch it. But if you get some barrels that are corroded pretty badly, uh, you can just run your steel brush or your brass brush just run it down a few times, just, just run it back and forth four or five times. And what I normally do then is just take another clean one, a swab, and stick it and just run it back down through, and then pull it back. Then you can just then you can look down the end of your barrel and you can usually see if it's clean or not. Most times that will do it. Uh, there is some occasions where you would have to take your barrel out. Um, you don't. You don't necessarily have to. But if there's ones that are real dirty, uh, you can pull your barrel out, uh, take it to a sink, and just run some real hot water down through it uh, with the with the brush and the swab. Um, and then most more times than not, the hot water will take all the medicine or whatever that's in your barrel. Uh, most of the times you can clean it by just running your swabs down through it. Um, that will take out most of your stuff, debris that's in there most of the time. Um, once you do that, uh, what we like to have you do is look on the end of your barrel. <clears throat> you have your two pockets where your O-rings are. You can take a Q-tip and we just like to have you just run in there. Sometimes you get debris in them, so you just run, run your swab around there. Then you can stick it back, stick it back down. And we use here, um, it's a, just an O-ring air gun lubricant or any any kind of lubricant. Uh, you put it on your on a on a clean slab and put it on your orange O-rings that are here. Just relube those O-rings, uh, keep them keep them lubricated, uh, especially after you clean them, or even if you use it a lot and. Uh, you see that they start to get dry. Uh, when you try to open it or close this, it will stick. Uh, the more the glue that you keep on those O-rings, uh, it make it easier for opening and closing. Um, if you find that when you try to open them and it's trying to pull the O-rings, the orange O-rings off of these bushings, uh, add some lube to them and that will keep that from happening. and will make it easier for you to open and close your butt plate. The, young, the other thing, for, for cleaning an X cow is your CO2 area. Uh, you, using the 12 gram adapter, uh, you'll see it a lot more than using the three and a half ounce. Uh, you get a lot of black resin on the screen that you see in there. Uh, the easiest way to do that, you can just take a Q-tip and just run there on the screen and clean that out. Um, if you have an air hose or something, you can also use an air hose and blow it out. Uh, try to keep that clean. Um, there is a screen and a filter in there, but it also helps your flow of your CO2 going in. So try to keep that debris out of there. Um, that's pretty much all we do for cleaning the next scout.